welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. Shut that under your microscope and study it a while. We're looking at destination inner space, which apparently means the ocean. Am I making myself clear? Deep beneath the sea, about five feet deep to be exact, the scientists on an underwater research station have detected a strange submarine vehicle. Must be 50 feet in diameter. If it's 50 feet, then there's some bloody big seaweed about. What could this submarine be? This crap looks extraterrestrial. Does it really? Why don't you tell us some other stuff you couldn't possibly know? A remotely controlled probe ship. Probably sent here to study our oceans. The research station itself seems to be woefully underfunded. They can't even afford a belt for the huskier diver. Ah! My gut! But to be honest, I don't really feel like they're earning their funding. We've recorded a dozen different kinds of sea animals. That's really not very many. I had no idea. This is essentially the green slime, but set underwater rather than in space, which means it's also alien set underwater rather than in space. And you might say that he's absolutely right. The crew visit the ship and find an egg. Well, it might be a, a fuel tank that's been ejected. Which they bring back on board. It's two inches longer than it was only an hour ago. Stop playing with it then. Dr. Wilson, do you think that X-ray would penetrate that shell? I don't know, but it's worth a try. Yes. Blast it with radiation. That always goes well. The egg then hatches out into what appears to be the creature from the Black Lagoon. During Mardi Gras. Is it intelligent? I bet you it's a lot smarter than both of us. That's setting the bar pretty low, but you'll still need a clever strategy to kill it. Okay, seriously, are you fighting an amphibious alien killing machine or trying to catch the Roadrunner? I'd rather not discuss it. As with the green slime or it, terror from beyond space, however cheap the effects are, what really ruins it is the characters. My way. Listen to me! <laughs> the tension between the leads is clumsy. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, well, yes, I do. And as for its treatment of women... I still say it's a whale looking for a new home. <laughs> No, Renee. Quiet, love. Men are talking. Now you listen to me, beautiful. As we know from all such films, this attitude can only lead to one thing. Did anyone ever tell you you're quite a guy? I'm guessing not. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? But women do get off better than ethnic minorities. How old are you gonna get fish? Rather brilliantly, that's James Hong, who is now probably the most recognisable member of the cast. Open watertight doors. But my biggest problem with this film is its familiar theme of sissy science... Really haven't tried to understand its purpose in coming here. ...versus manly action. Doc, maybe you haven't thought about this, but wherever this thing came from, land animals like ourselves could be its natural enemies. Well, that piece of unsupported guesswork has certainly convinced me. Please, blow it up! But then... We also know that somehow we have to find a way to communicate with those beings if we ever encounter them again. I'm not sure we've made the best first impression. Maybe not. Uh, we on this planet seem to have a habit of killing aliens who may not have meant us any harm whatsoever. If these aliens come back, how would you explain to them that we've blown up their emissary? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.